people do not believe me when I say this because one, they don't make the time and two, they haven't tried it. Here is exactly how to read four books a week minimum. First things first, you really have to push yourself. This is a huge commitment. I listen to at least four books a week. <laughs> if I read more than four books a week, that's awesome. So I do it by audiobook. What I do is turn up the speed times two. So that's all the way in the max for Apple Books and certain apps, depending on what you're using, what subscriptions for audiobooks that you have, I literally double the speed. A lot of people ask, how can you understand that? The reason that it started was I was using this app called Scribe. On the Apple App Store, I have an iPhone. On the app, you can read as many books as you want as fast as you can so that's what got me started however every single month these bestsellers that i'm dying to read that are really really good books that i've heard of are only available for two to four days because of the copyright laws and licenses they're not allowed to have them for a certain amount of time then it's harder to read those few books that are available if there's only two to four days in the month that you can actually spend the time to sit and listen to them what i would do was i would try to collect as many books as possible in my reading list and listen to them but I'd have to listen to them as fast as I can because I want to absorb the information. I personally don't read to relax and sit down. I don't like sitting and reading. I don't know I just struggle. I read the same line over and over again. I'd rather sit and listen or while I'm doing some work, multitasking while I'm doing my makeup, while I shower, I'll put the speaker on or when I'm preparing food I will listen to an audiobook. So no matter what I'm doing, if I'm getting dressed, I'm probably listening to an audiobook or driving. I have a lot of long drives because I live in Los Angeles and the traffic is rampant. Aside from that, being able Able to listen to these books as fast as possible was the only way that I can listen to all the hits or bestsellers that I wanted to read and the thing is not all books are good well in my opinion <laughs> so you know how in the world you get annoyed sometimes not everybody is your taste or not everybody has a similar mindset you're very unique you're an individual and that's how I feel about books too so books are literally just thoughts from people's minds so and I don't agree with all of them I don't want to read all of them I don't want to know all of them so why would I read every single book on the app however a lot of the books I read weren't necessarily good or my goal bestsellers and books that you are really dying to read aren't available so there's a lot of that and there's probably a reason I'm not here to criticize the authors you don't need to necessarily double the speed like me because if you just enjoy reading books and just listen to an audiobook at whatever speed you feel like you can slow it down you can listen to regular speed and you can speed it up just a little bit I am just constantly trying to harness as much information as possible so that's just me do the speed according to whatever you can comprehend however now I do not use scribed because I just got so annoyed of having to force myself and if I'm going to listen to whatever books I want I want to have the freedom to listen to it at whatever pace and the problem was I ended up just getting used to the speed of times too so now I'm reading even more books at least now I have access to more books that I want to read and I don't feel obligated to read all those books because I'm not committed to a subscription every single month there are some really good apps that are out there chirped is really good but you have to buy the books individually and I also now just buy books off Apple books off the app if you type in books on your app store it should already be with the phone I think with that said every Every time I listen to a tutorial, if it's on YouTube, I will turn up the speed. So if you see the settings button at the bottom of this video, it's in the shape of a cog icon. You press that, you can press the playback speed, and that's how I listen to, to tutorials faster on YouTube. I listen to podcasts faster. I want to absorb the information. I will speed it up so that I can gain as much as possible and watch multiple tutorials to see what options are best for me. A few reasons that I listen to audiobooks are one, you can turn up the speed, obviously. Two, most of the time when there's an audiobook, the author reads it. So you can hear exactly how it was supposed to be written, how it was supposed to sound, as opposed to someone else's interpretation of how it's supposed to sound. And if I read it in my head, I think very differently from a lot of people, so I don't think people will necessarily have the writing style or the voicing style that I do. You can also listen to them on the go, as I said, like while brushing your teeth, doing your makeup, driving, working, cleaning, dressing up and cooking. If you're a multitasker like me, I do like to focus on tasks, but I find myself more productive when I multitask for some reason. It's just who I am and who I've practiced to be. So there's no reason not to be taking any information when you can multitask if that's your thing. Sometimes there are books that you really need to give your full effort to and all of your attention. I I save those for long drives or just before bed. My minimum goal is four books every single week because sometimes I'm lucky enough to read more and gain more knowledge but the reason for this is because there are typically different kinds of books and I also gave myself this sort of yearly goal of trying to read as many books as possible as a personal ambition of mine. Each book is a completely somewhat different 
genre. So I typically like to read nonfiction, that's just my thing, specifically like self-development, self-growth, finance, economics, and then other times I'll have a lot of books on very super hardcore educational topics like neuroscience. Not that I'm anything close to neuroscience. My husband's a biomedical scientist. I'm trying to keep up in, in a conver conversation, politics, cultures around the world. Sometimes I just like to relax, so if I want to read a book that's more feel-good, a memoir, a biography of someone's life, I'll have multiple things that overlap in between anybody in business. Anything I can gain from, I don't like to escape from reality because I already have a strong imagination as it is. A lot of people love Isaac Asimov. I like history and especially war history and you learn a lot about the human mind when it comes to war. There's this thing I always say to myself, knowledge is not power, action is power. People think that reading makes you smart. I think it depends what you're reading. So if you're doing quality reading, then it makes you smarter, I guess. But harnessing information doesn't necessarily make you a smarter person. You can be the smartest person in the world and do nothing with it and you can just be a lazy bum sitting on the couch playing video games. The person who puts whatever their knowledge is into action is the smart person because they're using what they know as a skill, as human capital, as pushing themselves. Whatever your excuse is why you want to read, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you <laughs> but why I read so much is the question that people ask. For me, reading is just a hobby. But I also still sort of push myself. So if you know me at all, I am very extreme. If someone gives me a project that has a deadline for next month, I will literally do it until 8.30 a.m. on the day that I'm assigned and it will be finished. I am very go hard or go home. I will read Rain or Shine and make a point to do it because it's my personal ambition. Not everybody's like that. A lot of people like more balance. A lot of people like more flowing energy. In case there is a book that you don't necessarily like, you can just talk about it with your friends and say, you know, there's this horrible book but I don't know if you guys might want to read it. <laughs> so, because people just have different tastes and you can't criticize them for that. It's awesome to have different kinds of people around. What are you going to do? Be an echo chamber of your thoughts all day? That's boring. It also gave me a reason to save more money and finance and budget better. So books are really expensive. Books that are online are probably 99 cents to $5, even like $18 sometimes, but the audiobooks can go up to like $25, which is really expensive. And so reading four of those <laughs> a week, especially depending on the quality of the book, if it's a bestseller, if it's an author who's got incredible marketing, you're going to be paying more. I really set aside this goal as not just to better myself mentally, to also make better finance decisions. I would go shopping and spend a bunch of money on clothes and I thought, what am I doing when I can actually use this finance book to make more money? Um, something my father-in-law would always say was, if you can't afford something, find a way to make more money. I wanted to afford more books <laughs> and it also helps me invest in myself, not just self-growth. No, I'm gonna find a book by someone who's done this in their business that's doing exactly what I'm doing and who did it 10 times better and how I can learn from them. There's a lot of garbage books out there from my personal experience. Not all reading technically makes you smarter. I am announcing today that I'm gonna be doing some weekly reads. So every single week I'm gonna be releasing some books. I'll just give a review and tell you what I liked or didn't like about the book. I'll update you in real time. So it's really difficult for people how to understand how I read so much. People have a hard time just wrapping their minds around it that the idea around it is possible and you can definitely do it. I'm living proof and I can't wait to share my reading list with you. You can do it if you want to. It'll also teach you how to budget better if you're not using scribes. Chirped, the reason I mentioned Chirp, Chirped is actually has a lot more, more, I think they have more books than on Apple books that are the really good books. For example, I love memoirs and biographies and historical uh, events. If you recommend any books, I'd love to know them in the comments below. If you have any questions, I want to know also what would you like to look forward to in these weekly reads. If you could give this a like would be awesome because I want to share this information with as much people as possible who are struggling with reading and think that I have dyslexia, I can't read in a certain language. You don't have to have a reason for reading. Just do it because you feel like it because you want to and I don't care whatever your reason is. If you want to do it, you should be able to do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.